Okay, verification of notice. This meeting is being held pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act of 1974, <coughs> and all provisions of that act have been met with adequate notice in this meeting. Having been published on the Township Transmission newspapers on January 12, 2024, published on the Township website, and posted on the official Township Bulletin Board. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, before we start the meeting, we do have a proclamation honoring one of our residents, Mark Fury. And Mark, are you in attendance? I am. All right, so you come up. And I'll read everything, so if I mess up anything, just correct me. Okay. okay. All right. So, from the governing body of Mount Holly Township, New Jersey, it's a proclamation honor Mr. Mark Fury. Whereas Mark Fury has been an esteemed resident of Mount Holly Township for over 22 years, contributing imme immeasurably to the fabric of our community. And whereas Mark Fury, alongside his family, has made Mount Holly their home, nurturing and guiding his sons through the academic journeys of Holbein school and RV with his son Nick following in his father's footsteps giving back serving honorably on the school board and whereas Mark Fury has tirelessly dedicated his time and talent to enriching the cultural landscape of Mount Holly Township organizing the music for our summer concert series gracing the Christmas tree lighting with his performances ensuring that the community thrives and whereas Mark Fury has exemplified a profound community commitment to justice and compassion by providing affordable legal services to those in need within our community. And whereas Mark Fury has demonstrated an unparalleled generosity and goodwill as a volunteer with the Bread of Life charity, embodying the spirit that defines the Mount Holly Township. And his devotion to Mount Holly Township as evidenced by his 20 year dedication to raising his children here stands as a testament to his unwavering love for our community. In celebration of his achievement of achievements, and dedication to the people of Mount Holly and the greater community. For the Mount Holly Township Council does hereby proclaim and declare that it is a right and just that we honor Mark Fury for these achievements and he should be honored. And furthermore, we encourage all citizens of Mount Holly to join us in the celebration. And, and witness thereof, I have set my hand to this seal of Township, Mount Holly, New Jersey, to be affixed on the 12th day of February in the year of our Lord, 2024. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. I, I can say that or should I say this? Uh, I can say it. I'm just going to say, I never got a proclamation 66 years. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> On, on the docket for tonight. We have an ordinance 2024-3. This is the first reading only, so we will not be taking comments on this particular ordinance. Ordinance 2024-3, ordinance amending chapter 265, section 65 of the Township Code of Governing Residential Parking Only. Motion. Can we get a motion? We got a first. Second. We have a second. Roll call. Miss Astor. Point of information. 
for second reading and public hearing. So we will be taking comments on this board accordingly. We have two. Yep. We have ordinance 2024-1, ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and to establish a cap bank. And before we make a motion, we're gonna open it up to the public to have any comments on this particular ordinance 2024-1. Starting with the first round. Well, you and Mayor, Council people. My name is Louis Herbert. I'm resident of 98 Lewis Drive. My only comment to this question is how the Mulholly Garden uh, this will fit to this budget. Only to this particular order. Mr. Jimmy, just for the cap bank ordinance, Louis. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. If you don't have anything, then, okay. then you can save those comments for the other. other. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else in the second row? Anyone else in the third row? Fourth row? All right, we're seeing no comments, so we'll bring this up for a motion. <coughs> Make a motion to approve ordinance 2024 1. All right, we have a first. Second. We have a second. Roll call. Ms. Astor? Abstain. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Burkus? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have another ordinance. This is second reading only, and we'll be taking public comments on this particular ordinance as well. We have an ordinance 2024-2, ordinance authorizing the execution of a financial agreement between the Township of Mount Holly and Star Star Urban Renewal, LLC. This is 14 King Street, Block 38, Lot 1, 101 Washington Street, Block 38, Lot 2. Before we bring it to up for a motion, do we have any public comments on this particular ordinance? Starting in the first row. I see someone in the I'll okay. skip. Does anybody in the second, third row have any questions? Row by row. Row by row. So let's we'll start with the third row. Good evening, Michael Rothmel, 33 Union Street, Mount Holly, obviously. Um, yeah, two questions. Um, first, what is the amount of pilot they will be paying in lieu of taxes? Um, may, may I address this? Tom, you want to address this? Yes, ma'am. Great. Um, uh, pay, pay, uh, annual payments are not less than $40,000. There is a schedule, Mr. Rothmill, that goes into detail in the agreement. Not less than 70, 40. And then, because um, I was confused also that where it talks about the annual service charge having to go to a credit for the amount without interest of the real estate tax of the project's land paid or that would have been due by the owner of the project's land at the four preceding quarterly payments and the terms of it shall no event Shall, no event shall the annual payment be less than 40000 All is set forth in the agreement that was So what is, what is it? Is that their minimum minimum pilot? Correct. Yep. 40000 Correct. And that's like the value of the land without improvements? <laughs> value of the land is is zero. less than zero. Okay. Um, I, I couldn't even I couldn't even begin to tell you the environmental concerns that the owner is, or soon to be owner is dealing with on behalf of the township. Okay. So is it, is it escalate? It does. It's right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I saw a hand in the last row. Is anyone? David, I like Yellow. Um, the concern is. Can you state your name and your David Villalba, 166 from Concord Road. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, that property is the building or the parking lot? Both. 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 And you're building residence and storage? We're, we're not building anything. We're not building anything. The developers are. Uh, They're not building any. No residence. No, no residence. residence. It's all commercial. All commercial. All commercial. They know it's a flood zone. Are they going to be addressing that appropriately? Uh, everything was everything was laid out in the, in the pilot agreement, but I'll let Tom. Yeah, Mayor, thank you. Um, Sir, the, um, the, there's been appropriate due diligence undertaken by the um, by the buyer, and um, one must assume that they've um, undertaken the appropriate due diligence because they're prepared to close with the township. So we're assuming. 
Uh, any guarantees in the assumptions? I don't want to assume anything. The risk is you totally the, to, the risk is totally not on the township; it's on the purchaser of the property. Okay. So what happens if Midway he can't afford to do anything, and who do we hold accountable for making sure that whoever rents that place is aware of these facts? Uh, I, I can't. I, I I won't delve into a third party rental agreement. That that that'd be inappropriate for me to to hide on. But understand that the, this development is going to come to the planning board at some point. Okay. Right. And wouldn't you think that all those issues about floodplain and well, we would think, but let's not assume. Right. Uh, you mentioned right. it again. Uh, so we need to know up front what to expect, and that's just one issue of quite a few in that in that property itself, because that property and the building itself have major problems right. that haven't been addressed. So uh, as well as, oh, oh, no, sir. what those about the oil tanks in that property? Those, those problems were- As you mentioned earlier, environmental, oh, no. and I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say those problems are gonna address at the planning board. No, no I'm not. Go ahead. Right. So let me finish. Those problems are already laid out in the property agreement, so the industry, so the first, the individual that's being taken over that particular property already agreed to everything that we requested them to do. So, okay, but what about what we may want to address as well? In terms of what? As I mentioned, just these alone. So are we gonna keep getting transparency and up to date on what's going on? If we have a concern, are they gonna be, so if I go to the uh, your building planning, am I gonna know what they're doing? Can I go to your building planning, your construction, when and things are submitted, and what's going everything on? Will be, everything will be available. After the planning board meeting. Because I went there and they, and they knew nothing about it. Because that's 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 the planning board. Board. Okay, sorry? So it hasn't come to the planning board yet. So that's okay. why we're in the first stages of this. So okay. we can't get to the end of so it. So what about the other thing, the beginning. environmental? It's, we gonna get it's the, the responsibility of the It's, it's the, the responsibility of the, new, of the purchaser, right? And they've already begun dialogue and meetings with the Department of Environmental Protection. Okay, and we can bring up questions as we go along in future meetings as well? Sure. So that's it? Public portion of the meeting. Yep. Okay. Anyone else? All right, we're going to close that for a public question. Right up for a motion. Motion to approve ordinance 2024 2. Sounds good. We have a second. Roll call. Ms. Astor? Abstain. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Perkis? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Thank you. All right. That's passed. So now we're going to move on to. The matters presented by the public. Members of the public are invited to submit comments during the public comment portion of this meeting. The council pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act will not publicly discuss personnel matters and may choose not to respond to comments made by members of the public during this portion of the meeting. However, the council will give all comments appropriate consideration and refer all individual complaints to the township manager or appropriate township representative for resolution. Each citizen will be allotted up to three minutes to speak in order to allow everyone an opportunity to express their opinions and concerns. All right, so we're gonna open this up to the floor, um, starting with the first row, Lewis. Good evening, Lewis Lopez, 98 uh, Levis Drive, resident. My first comment is, are you gonna reverse the decision that was made last council meeting today? It was, uh, I think, an inappropriate uh, decision. What are you referring to? Uh, in the last case, I mean, uh, a code of ethic, uh, you're appointing, uh, it should be as a whole team, not as a mayor, for the uh, last meetings. Are you, are, you, what are you referring to the comments that were made in regards to Mr. Brown? Yeah. Did you give, uh, what are you talking about? From the last meeting, uh, you were appointed. Uh, it's a very, at the very last action, I say, you two met, you two, two are the same thing, I think you several, I think you should be like a whole team. It's a COVID ethic from last meeting. So if you look at my YouTube video, then, uh, that's one, you know, just a concern. Mm -hmm. okay. If you have, when you have a chance, just look at the last meeting as a last session, and that's how I was saying, you know, trying to get a point. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, and second is, is Mr. Brown going to uh, 
apologize to the uh, smart reaction of the cancer the last last one. Which one are you referring to? Uh, right. To the last cancer member, it's, it made some uh, strong words that, you know, that said everyone, and that's not, you know, inappropriate. He can ask whatever question he has when he has the time to speak. Okay, I'm just going to keep it up to the center. I said, Sydney King of Mahali. Thank you, Louis. Thank you, Louis. Uh, second is, more uh, in depth on the second revolution of the agenda item. I'd like to get more information and, and information for uh, a solicitor. I uh, requ uh, request a question, uh, the last council meeting at the end, to see how far we uh, eliminate the debts of the Mount Hardy Gardens. Uh, Lewis, how far are we, uh, how much debt do we have with respect to Mount Holly Gardens? Yes. I, Lewis, I believe it's a, uh, to the best of my knowledge, it's a 20-year uh, amortization schedule. I don't know where we are in that. I can tell you that we're not close to uh, finishing the repayment of that, though. We're somewhere between zero and 20, 20 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, last time is uh, uh, make decisions as to not as to time, not men versus women, as a complete whole. We love this city. Thank you. Betty Jean Kessler, 418, Longstead Avenue, Mount Holly, New Jersey. Um, regarding the basketball stand, I would like it removed because this is continued harassment and retaliatory behavior from Josh Brown. He is an employee, he's not immune from litigation. The basketball stand needs to be removed, it's on township property. Furthermore, I requested an independent audit to be done regarding the operations of township management. So the many audit problems is done every year. have been brought mm -hmm. about. And the audit is done every year. We need an audit. It's done every year. We need an audit of the ongoing And an audit is done every There's year. There's too many leaks over there in that building. Confidential information, private information, has been leaked out in what conversations. Never mind, I'm not even gonna get into it with you. Furthermore, <laughs> at the last month's meeting, I found certain remarks from Mr. New Brown insulting, inflammatory, and derogatory towards two people in this meeting, but also against the two women. He made, the comment was made that you all have a problem with the women. Okay, well, what is the problem? Is it because they're female and it's a sexist issue, or is it a race issue because they're Caucasian? If Mr. Brown is gonna turn these meetings into an inflammatory racist remarks, he needs to justify his remarks and explain them to every person that was sitting in this meeting last month that was extremely offended by some of his comments. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else in the second row? <coughs> Third row? Michael Rothnell, 33 Union Street. I just want to congratulate Mark Fury for the award tonight. I've known Mark for most of his legal career in Mount Holly because I also practice in Mount Holly. I refer criminal cases to him because he provides such an excellent service. Um, I, I know his staff people and they are also excellent. And I can't think of someone more deserving for the award who does practice the law and also does music and, and other things like that just to help the town. And he certainly deserves a proclamation. And I just wanted to, to personally congratulate him as well. Thank you. Anyone else in the third row? Maureen Taylor Ford, 117 Brand Street. Uh, first, I'd like to go ahead and say we had a great uh, fire night festival. I thought it was awesome. 
great turnout. Um, <coughs> cotton candy stand was my favorite. It was off the wall. Cotton candy was five for me. Also, glad to see Mr. Furry here getting also um, recognized for the things he does in this town. Moving right along, um, I noticed that when I was coming down High Street, they put a flashing sign that says 30 miles per hour. I appreciate it, it's wonderful, thank you so very much. My concern is halfway down the block, it turns to 25 miles an hour. And the reason I know this is because when I first moved here 18 years ago, one of my kids got hit on High Street because the woman specifically said uh, she couldn't figure out what speed limit was, 25 or 30, and hit my kid on High Street, doing 30. So she is the reason that that 25 mile sign is there. My question is, is it planted there intentionally? <coughs> For people who live here, we know that road changes speed. For people who are coming into this town, they see it flashing at 30, okay? They slow down to 30. You go so many yards down the road, it literally turns to 25 mm -hmm. between the funeral home and the grammar school where my kid got hit 18 years ago, okay? And flew over somebody's car, okay? So what are we doing about that? Are we gonna get another flashing where the 25 starts to let people know, hey, you're at 25 now <coughs> because you were nice enough to put 30, or is that just a ploy to get people tickets as they flying down high school doing 30? That's my question. Um, I also want to make a remark to Mr. Brown, you know, Mr. Brown, I love your family, okay? Your grandkids are in my house, your great-grandkids are in my house, okay? And for you to say what you said, it hurt me to my heart. You have a Caucasian wife, I have a Caucasian son-in-law, I have a Caucasian daughter-in-law, I have two Caucasian grandchildren. So for you to say that and then sit there and say you've been on this council for how many years? I was on council for, not council, I was a Democratic committee member for 10 years, elected also in this town, before I went to Afghanistan, okay? So when you sit there and tell me what you've been on this town and how things have been done, 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 at some point change is inevitable, right? We all know change is inevitable. But for you to say that, that hurt me to my heart because I love your family very much, okay? And it's not about race. I didn't grow up in this town. I knew where I grew up in New York City. It's not about race either. And I am very offended by that. And I needed to tell you that. I need to let you know that it was uncalled for, okay? And if you were on this council this long, if you want to talk about race, you should have been the second black mayor. Mr. Mr. Banks should not be the second black mayor. You've been on council long enough to be the second black mayor in Mount Holly, okay? He should have been third, if you want to take it to the race level, all right? But I did not appreciate that, because I love your family. And I know you love my children too. Mr. Banner, as for the speed sign, that was determined by the county and the police chief of replacement. Um, I think the main thing was trying to stop people coming in from two lanes down to the one lane and coming down to the south. Okay, thank you, sir. Were, were you talking to the council or us about the speed limit? Uh, he addressed me. Oh, Basically, okay. there was a county decision in regards to oh. why that sign was placed at the top of High Street. Because we can't hear him when he talks. Okay. I'll repeat it if he does say anything. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Pierre Ford, 117 Grand Street. Um, I, I do part time driving as far as um, Papa John's. Um, and I notice in certain streets now they have these, these rubber rubber um, thing where you, you slow down and you have to you have to slow down it's like a, you know like a brake barrier or something like that maybe we need to implement some of those into to the town as far as slowing down some of the speed because um, I know it, it helped out a lot as far as um, some of these streets that are going through I, I go through Lumberton and, and, and um, Haynes, Haynesport and all those other streets just, just, just a suggestion, you know, as far as the speed limit going, going through some of these, these spots, you know. And um, do they implement any trucks or anything as far as for, for um, salt, um, you know, laying the salt in, in some of the streets and stuff? Because um, I, 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 um, I go to different senior citizens houses and they, they salt for them because I know they're too old to do it. 
but the streets that they that they drive in doesn't seem like they get any salt. Do they do they actually do that? Talk about salt, talk about salt salt. The roads? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Or brine and salt. Yeah, we brine in salt. Okay. Um, for the most part. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else in that row? <coughs> All right, moving on to the last row. Anyone else in the last row? Hi, Terry Yellow, 168, Frank Road. Uh, not to reiterate, but just to comment on it. What's the time frame you're looking on, on the building on uh, Fenty Street? What's your question? What's the time frame you're looking for development on the building on Fenton Street, Bill Fargo? Uh, time frame for them? We're not developing anything. What's the gentleman? What's your commitment? What's your agreement on the time frame? So he could take 10 years, two years, and what? I'll let, I, I'll, let Tom, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let our, I'll let our okay. attorney answer that. Uh, the, the, the development is supposed to be done within the next 36 months. 36 months to tear down the building and redevelop something new? They're not tearing down the building, I don't think, right? Uh, so it's not a complete tear down, and yet they're able to do structural changes? Th th 30, 36 <laughs> months. Planning. Okay, we're gonna to stick to that, we'll stick to that. Um, why, we, why do we have so many dispensaries in the town? Five dispensaries and two more coming? I don't understand that. That's giving the town the cultural bad name. We're the town of history. We're the town of Washington D.C. Or Washington. Why are we? Why are we taking that uh, atmosphere? Where do you get the information? There's two more coming. Excuse me. Where do you get? Well, the okay. Let's stick to the five we have now. Four. 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 Okay. Four. You want to go four? Well, there's four. And the Burger King open. one. What about the yeah. Burger King? And I'm counting that one. Well, yes, but it's not open yet. But yes, we have five. Oh, we're not counting what's not but open. But you said we have two more coming. So. You so then that's coming. You said not no, open. No, we don't have any more coming. You, the Burger King will 